Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today my topic for this particular video is the meta classes. So in the previous videos related to the object oriented or decorator functions, I cover the meta meta programming. So basically meta programming, when I say the meta programming, so what's the mean by the meta programming? So like the meta programming means a function or a class which can manipulate or you can modify itself on the runtimes. Like we can modify a functions, we can modify a class on the runtimes. Those capability we call the meta programmings. And we can manipulate a function or class or object in multiple ways in the Pythons. As you remember in our previous videos, I cover the decorator function. And decorator function is also used to decorate the function to wrap the functionality on the existing functions. And a similar way we can use the decorator classes also and which I already covered the decorator in details in our previous video is part 13. If you have the any queries related to the decorator, you can refer to the those video part 13. And in case of another mechanism to manipulate the things in Python, to wrap the things, manipulate the functionality of function classes, we can use the object oriented programming here. And those example is the inheritance. In inheritance also, we can uh, call the functions from the existing base class to the drive class. So this way we can use uh, inheritance like single level inheritance, multi-level inheritance also in the industry. And regarding the inheritance also, we have the another video in our part 12 in this same playlist. You can refer to the part 12 video if you have any query related to the object oriented programming and related to the inheritance. And in this specific to this video, in this video, I'm going to cover our topic is meta class. My focus in this particular video only on the meta class. So you can see here, I, as I mentioned, like the meta class. So like the Python classes has the capabilities of meta programming. Meta programming means to manipulate itself, like the classes can manipulate itself on the runtime. Those capability we call the meta programming, and those classes we call the meta classes. And meta classes are rare field of the OOPS concept, like which hide behind me. Like when we are using on the Pythons, we are developing a software, as we are developing any utilities, then generally like the meta concept is behind the scene. Like most of the developers is not aware about the meta programming, meta classes, but somehow they use it on the daily to daily practice. It's the benefit of meta programming. like in case of specific requirement, we can use Python capabilities to go deep on the core level and then we can define the custom meta classes. We can use those techniques yeah, to solve our problem on the specific requirement. And meta classes are rarely used. We know like meta classes are rarely used. And this is the nice quote by the, the Tim Peters. Those we also call the Python guru, Tim Peters. And here are the nice quote regarding the meta classes. So you can see here meta classes are deeper magic than 99% users should ever worry about. Here like the Tim also mentioned here the things like the 99% is not aware about the magic of the meta classes like the behind the scene how the meta classes is work. So if you further you can see that the people who actually need them know with certainty that they need them and don't need any explanation about why. So you can see here. The quote mentioned here, like the people who require the meta classes, who need to use the meta classes for the specific requirement, they thoroughly need it and they understand the, uh, like the capabilities of meta classes, then they definitely they can utilize those meta classes as per their requirements. So that's the nice quote by the, by the team. So let me move to the inbuilt meta classes first. So here are the nice diagram in the diagram. You can see here the type type is the meta class in the Python. Basically in Python's like we have one inbuilt meta class is type. And if we create any object, any class in the Python behind the scene, those class drive from the type. Somehow they are using the type meta class in the backend. Any object you can check on your end also in your code also if you check the type of those uh, those object those class in behind the scene it use the type as a meta class on the top level and as shown in this diagram also I will come to this diagram later first I will show you the type so 
in case of type like we know everything in the python is object so during our object oriented videos so i cover the things like everything in the python is object and in the same manner classes or are also object so every object has the type we know every object has the type on the similar note classes also have a type like object has a type similar way classes has a type so if we create a simple class you can see here here first i'm creating a simple class here this is the class keyword then the class name and here i'm just using the past statement so this is the empty class simple class and if i call this class here i'm calling this class to create a object by using those class and further i am printing the type of those class those object you can see here this is the object which i created here and now i'm checking the type of this object and you can see here it written the main main is the main module in the python then the simple class because type of this object this object is created by calling the simple class so that's why type of this uh, object is main dot simple class you can see here it's using the simple class behind the scene like the type of this uh, object is simple class and now i'm interested in that checking the type of simple class because everything is object now simple class also a object so i'm interested to check type of simple class and you can see here in the next cell i'm using the type and then i'm passing the simple class simple class is the class we define here and if i print the type of this class it return the type so this is the thing behind the scene any class any object any variables using the type is meta class so you can see here the type is meta class or type is meta class for the simple class here so you can see here if we create any custom class any function or we can use inbuilt strings variable or int variable or float every every object in the python use the type meta class and i will show you the code also and this is the one way to checking the uh, meta class or to checking the type of the class and another way we can use the this special method like the object dot double underscore class double underscore this way also we can check the type of this object you can see here type of this object this is the object we created here and the type of the object is main dot simple class similar to above you can see here it's returning the same response like we have the two mechanism we can use the type type method and then the type method we can pass the object we can pass the class to check the type of particular object particular class another way is dot double underscore class double underscore this is a special method we can use this one also and now i'm interesting to check the simple class type and i can use the this method two time you can see here object name dot double underscore class double underscore then again dot then double underscore class double underscore so this way it's written the type of the class which class is used to while creating this object so i create this object here by using the simple class so this way i am checking the type of simple class this is the simple class and this works similar way as i work as i run this code like the i'm checking the type of simple class by using the type method here this work the similar way and here the like the requirement is uh, we mentioned we need to call the double underscore class double underscore method two time and if i run this you can see here it's written the type you can see here it's written the type similar to this so till this point i'm covering the inbuilt class inbuilt meta class is the type python in python inbuilt meta class is the type and every object every class every variable is used the inbuilt meta class behind the scene so here i'm dig, dig down these things here i'm explaining these things and let me show you another example so here i'm creating an integer object by using integer value string object float object boolean object so i'm creating these four object in this point and now i'm interesting to check the type of those object and if i check the type of this object you can see here or oh, integer object dot double underscore class double underscore so it returning the type int because i'm using the int value to create this object and further i'm interesting to check the type of int int class and here the same same syntax i use here as i mentioned above like the object name dot 
डबल अंडर स्कोर क्लास डबल अंडर स्कोर डोट देन डबल अंडर स्कोर क्लास अगेन डबल अंडर स्कोर दिस वे आई एम कॉलिंग द लाइक द क्लास विच इज यूज टू क्रिएट दिस ऑब्जेक्ट एंड यू कैन सी है इट्स रिटर्निंग द टाइप इज टाइप लाइक द मेटा क्लास इज टाइप फॉर द इंट ऑल्सो and same way in the string also like i am interesting to check the object type of the string it written in the str now i am interesting the type or meta class for the string class str class and you can see here it is written in the meta class type for str class also and same way in the in case of float also it written in the meta class is type in case of boolean also it written in the meta class type so this is the way how behind the scene python is work so let me go back to the diagram so this is the diagram so in this diagram as i explain here if we define any class if we create any class or if we use in built class also all class all object all function all variable using the type meta class behind the scene in python so let me move to the next part dynamic classes dynamic classes is the concept of meta programming because we create the class on the run time like python is providing us the capability of meta programming in the meta program basically we create the dynamic class on the run time and here we can use the type meta class type method or you can say here are the type meta class to create the class on the run time and here are the magic if we pass one argument in the type function then it return the type of particular object we generally use the type and we if we have the requirement to check the type of any object any class any functions anything then we use in python type and round bracket in the round bracket we can, we can pass one argument if we pass one argument then it return the type of particular object and if we pass three argument into the type first one is the class name and then base classes base classes is the classes used for the inheritance as a base classes so we can pass multiple classes also here and then the dictionary dictionary contain the body of the class basically this contain all the cores all the function statement of the class then it returns a dynamic class like on the run time type function type method basically create a class on the run time this way and further like the if i explain the class name basically this argument class name is used for the double underscore name double underscore attribute in the class while creating the class this value is go to double underscore name double underscore method in the class to create the name of the class to define the name of the class and base class is value go to the double underscore base attribute as mentioned here like this value is used by this attribute double underscore base double underscore and we can define the multiple classes because we can use the multiple inheritances we can use multiple base classes to inherit the objects or to inherit the functionality from multiple base classes so we can pass the tuples here and in form of dictionary we can pass the uh, all code in the form of dictionary and in the code we can pass all the statements all the functions the class statements here so let me move to the coding part so you can see here in the coding i'm using the type function type method here and in the type uh, type method i'm passing the three things here this is the class name this is the base classes and this is the dictionary like uh, containing the all statement all code related to the, the class but here i'm interesting to create a empty class so that's why i'm just passing the class name here base class is blank and dictionary like the body of the class also blank and if i create the object by using this class first i'm creating this class empty class now i'm creating a object by using this class and if i print this object you can see here this object is created main main is the main module and the python and underscore empty class this is the object is created inside the memory and if i check the type of this object you can see here by using this under double underscore class method it returning empty class is the type of this object and if i am interesting to check the uh, type of empty classes empty class i created here dynamic class and if i am interested to check that uh, type of this dynamic class you can see here it return the type uh, type here so that's why like it's using the uh, meta class behind the scenes so this way like we can create a class and here i'm creating a blank class now i'm creating a class with some data 
so this is the second example and in this example this is the name of the class i'm passing the name here i'm passing the tuples and in the tuples i'm passing two values like the two base classes to inherit these classes first one is the empty class which i create here this is also a dynamic class and here i'm inheriting this dynamic class and next one is the simple class simple class we create above i think yeah this one this one also the empty blank class and this one also i use to inherit for the syntax purpose i'm using here like the, i'm passing two classes here as a tuple this is the tuple and here i'm passing two classes and now i'm passing the body like the code for this class and here i'm passing the dictionary you can see here dict and in the, inside the bracket i'm passing the attribute attributes the name is greeting and value for this string attribute is welcome to optimal xcl training program so this way we can pass statement code as per the requirement while creating the class on the runtime so this is the way how we can create the dynamic classes and for the same way i am creating the object here so first let me execute this to create the class and now i am creating the object and uh, you can see here this object is created inside the memory and if i check the type of this object you can see here type of this object is second class you can see here type of this object is second class because we are using the second class while creating this object and if i am interested to check the type of for the second class it written in the meta class here type so similar to above this is also work in the similar ways you can see here we can call all the attributes all the codes from the body of this class also here we define the greeting variable and greeting string attribute and here we are calling those attribute object and dot and the attribute name is greeting so let me run this and you can see here it print the welcome to optimal xci training program so you can see here this way we can call all the all the methods or all the attributes from the body of the class also and so this is the example of the dynamic class and let me check the inheritances work or not because we define two base classes here for the inherit inherit purpose so here i'm using the each subclass function and each subclass function i explained during our object oriented video so it basically return true if the uh, class is the inherited class from the base class and it return false if the class which we are interesting to check like the class is not inheriting the base class so you can see here we are using the each subclass and each class is returning the true here and it return true if this first class like the sec here we mentioned the second class is inheriting the empty class is returning true and if it's not inheriting the empty class like this empty class is the base class we define here like the empty class and simple class if it's if not inheriting these classes then it return the false so this way we are checking the inheritance also here and still the point we discussed the inbuilt uh, meta classes type in details then the dynamic classes how we create the dynamic classes by using the type now i move to the custom meta classes so as per the requirement of the project as per the requirement of the softwares we can use the custom classes to manipulate the functionality of the existing classes or new classes so first one is to define a custom classes first we need to drive those class inherit those class from the type meta class so we know we know type is the meta class inbuilt meta class if we need to define the custom meta class as per our requirement then first thing is we need to inherit type class so this is the syntax you can see here class class keyword then the name of the uh, mat, uh, custom class here we can provide any names as per the pap8 convention here i'm providing the custom meta class and here i'm inheriting the type type is the meta class so we need to inherit those class so this is the syntax how we can define the custom meta class and it we know that type is a meta class and we create a custom meta class by inheriting those type class so custom meta class also a meta class because we are inheriting the meta class here and second things required first things is we need to inherit the type second thing is we need to define a special method here double underscore new double underscore you can see here this one double underscore new double underscore method for the custom meta class and these are the functionality which are the operation is done by the double underscore new method 
basically first is it assign double underscore method from the parent like the default meta type class to newly created class by using the super keyword so here we are going to use the super keyword also i will show you in the code also so basically the uh, logic behind the scenes why we use the double underscore new methods and with super keywords because it's assigning the double underscore met special method double underscore new special method from parent meta class to the newly created class and it also assign the custom attribute like we create the custom attribute in our custom meta class then it assign those attributes to newly created class which, which we create by using the, our custom meta class and it written the newly created classes like it written all the class newly created classes so this is the nice diagram and you can see here in this diagram on the top level we have the default meta class this is the type meta class and then we need to create the custom meta class here in this point custom meta class and we can create those custom meta class by driving the default type meta class so this way we can create the custom meta class and in the custom meta class, we need to define the uh, this special method, double underscore new double underscore methods with super keyword. You can see here, this is the logic while creating the custom meta class. And further, we can create any number of class by using this custom meta class. And I will show you in the code also. So this is the overall flow. This is the default meta class. This one is the custom meta class. And this one is the simple class. We can create any number of classes from this custom class. We can create any number of classes as per our requirement. So this is the coding example for the custom meta class. So here I'm first defining the custom meta class. You can see here, this is the class keyword, then the name of the custom meta class. So here I'm defining the name is custom meta class. And here I'm inheriting the meta class, like the default meta class. Default meta class is type. So I'm inheriting here the type. And then I'm defining a method like special method as requirement. I mentioned above also like the double underscore new double underscore method. And in this method, I'm passing uh, these attribute new class, class name, base class, and the dictionary. And if you remember, this is very similar syntax to above. If we show in the dynamic classes, you can see here in the dynamic classes, first we pass the class name base classes dictionaries which contain the codes related to the any class like the old statements this is similar similar syntax you can see here here also like this is the similar syntax here also like we are using the type type meta class to create a class on the runtime and in this case also we are using the type meta class and we are we are basically assigning this special function double underscore new double underscore from the meta class, from the type meta class. And here we are using the super keyword. By help of this super keyword, super dot double underscore new double underscore. This way we are calling the this special method from the type class. So this is the syntax to create the custom classes. Next is we can uh, add any number of attribute into the uh, custom meta classes. Like here we are uh, adding a string attribute and in the value of the string attribute is welcome to optimal XCI training program. And then it returning the value. And so till here uh, we created a custom uh, meta class. Now the time to use this meta class while defining a new class. Let me start with simple example here. Here I'm again creating a new class. This is a simple class. Class keyword, name of the class is greet class. And here I'm using the one keyword meta class. This keyword is required while creating a class, while creating a class by calling the custom meta classes. Like the meta class keyword is required. We need to define this meta class keyword and then we need to pass those are the custom class we created. And here we create a custom class. Name of the custom class is custom meta class. So that's why we are passing the name of the classes. The name of this attribute is custom meta class. So this is the important things. While creating a class by using the custom meta class, we need to pass this keyword meta class. And value for this keyword is the custom class, which custom meta class which create. This is the important point while defining any class with custom meta class we need to use this keyword meta class 
and value for this keyword is the name of the our name of our custom meta class and here basically we create the custom meta class here so that's why we are passing the name of those class here so this way we can create a new class by using the custom meta class and if i create a object you can see here, here i'm creating the object by using this this class which i created here and this returning the object you can see here it's it's showing like the object is created by using this class this is the greet class class name so here i'm checking the attributes which i define in the custom meta class so here are the greeting and in the greeting you can see here it's printing the welcome to optimal xci training program and this value is basically coming from here from the custom meta class you can see here this attribute we define here and from here is directly coming to our simple class so this way like we can utilize we can modify class in multiple way by using the meta classes or custom meta classes and if uh, if i check the type of this object you can see here by using this double underscore class special method it printing the greeting class here the type because we are using the greeting class here and now i'm checking the type of greeting class and for the greeting class you use the custom meta class as a meta class here so it's printing the custom meta class you can see here here i'm checking the type of this greet class and it's printing the custom meta class and now i'm checking the type of custom meta class and now this is the syntax like uh, three time i use double underscore class double underscore method separated by dot and it's returning them our uh, top meta class which is type so this way like the overall uh, meta classes work so this is all about the meta class so here in this particular video i cover the type function type method default meta class means the type is the default meta class in the python and how we can create the dynamic classes on the runtime by using the type how we can create the custom meta classes how we can use the custom meta classes and then i double check in the code also like the uh, meta classes for the newly created classes so those things i cover in this video further in case of uses point of view like the generally we prefer in to the industry while working on the coding part for any software generally we use the object oriented programming decorators to modify the class or functions as per the requirement and in case of specific requirement then we go for the meta classes and this is all about the meta classes and it can directly access this collab from the description of the video i will put this link into the description of the videos and you can use this code you can modify this code as per your requirement and thank you for watching this video bye bye